Hey guys, it's Mark from Hallmark Pool Supplies. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about the five most common mistakes people make when vacuuming their pool. It does not matter if you have an above ground or an in ground. The mistakes that we want to avoid are gonna be the same regardless of what pool you have. Okay, so the first mistake that a lot of people make, and that is getting the vacuum hose. And here I have a vacuum hose, and on the vacuum hose, we have two ends. One end is swivel and it rotates, and the other end is stationary and it does not rotate. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we hook the swiveled end of the vacuum hose that rotates on the vacuum head. Now the vacuum head, it also rotates. Now not all vacuum heads rotate and not all vacuum hose have swivels, but this is very important to note. So we wanna take the end that rotates and we put it on the vacuum head itself. And this is the proper way to hook the vacuum up. And we're gonna take the other end of the vacuum hose, which is stationary that does not rotate. And that is gonna go into the skimmer end and I'll explain that later as we go. Okay, so the next common mistake is not priming the vacuum hose. And what do I mean by that? Well. First thing we want to do is we want to put the hose in the pool and we're going to take the vacuum hose and we're going to throw it in the pool like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the hose and we want to prime it and we want to feed the hose hand over hand. And by doing so, we're going to fill this hose with water so when we hook it up, we don't starve the pump, we don't lose suction and we maintain prime. And by doing this hand over hand, it will guarantee that we will fill the hose with water. And when we get to the end of the hose, you will see water coming out of the hose. And that lets us know that the hose is now full of water. So when we hook it up, we've got suction and we are gonna be maintaining prime. Okay, now some people, instead of doing the hand over hand method to prime the hose, they actually take the end of the hose and they put it over the jet or the return on the side of the pool and they fill the hose that way. And you can do that as well, but doing the hand over hand method is a lot easier and a lot faster. So another common mistake people make is when they go to hook up the vacuum into the skimmer and remember, swivel end on the vacuum head, stationary end goes into the skimmer end. And what a lot of people do is they will take the basket out and then they will stick the hose directly down into the bottom of the skimmer like so. And you definitely don't want to do this because this can lead to you clogging your skimmer. So what do we do? What we want to do is we want to use this. What is this? This is called a vacuum plate. And vacuum plates are made for different skimmers and depending on the skimmer that you have, you get the right vacuum plate. We hook the vacuum plate to the stationary end. Remember, the swivel end is on the vacuum head so the hose doesn't get tangled. The stationary end that does not rotate goes on the vacuum plate so we don't suck air. And so once the basket's in the skimmer, the vacuum plate goes over the basket as such. And now all the debris and trash that we vacuum stays in the basket and all the water goes through, back through the system and back into the pool. This way we do not clog the skimmer. By removing the basket and going directly in, we are apt to clog the skimmer. So for any of you guys that have clogged your skimmer, I have made a video on unclogging your skimmer and I will post the link down below for any of you guys that need to check that out. So if you guys want a more in-depth video in regards to how to hook up a vacuum and vacuum the pool in a little bit more detail. It doesn't matter if you have an above ground or an in ground. I did make a video on both, how to vacuum an above ground as well as an in ground. And I will post both of those videos down below for any of you guys that want to check that out. So the fourth common problem people make on the list, and that is when we're done vacuuming, as you see here, we have the vacuum hooked up it's hooked up on the vacuum plate, and as you can see, it's on there pretty tight. And a lot of people, when they're done vacuuming, they wanna come over here and just yank this out. And a lot of times, this is very hard to get out. And we don't wanna do that because we could damage the hose, we could actually crack the vacuum plate. And any of you guys that have an above ground pool, you could actually damage the skimmer. So how do we get this out? The best way is turn off your pool pump, and then this will come right out with, with no effort at all. 
If you guys run into any problems or difficult situations that are pool related and you need help, check out my Patreon page, where as a patron, you can actually book phone sessions with me and I can even do virtual service calls and I will be glad to help. So before we get into the last mistake, I just wanna let you guys know that this video we're filming today is in front of a pool that I built 14 years ago. And I did make a video on this pool for any of you guys that wanna check it out. I will have a link posted down below. So the last mistake on today's list that people make when vacuuming their pool, and this primarily pertains to people that have DE filters or sand filters, and that is vacuuming in the backwash position. That is incorrect, and we do not vacuum in the backwash position. There are only two positions that we can vacuum a pool in, and that is in filter or in waste. So I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. And if so, hit that like and subscribe button for future content. I want to definitely thank all my patrons as well as my subscribers for your support of this channel. Remember us at Hallmark Pool Supplies for all your pool needs. I appreciate everybody watching. My name is Mark, and I'll see you guys on the next video.